Hey guys, Tim here with Safari Surf Adventures and pro surfer, super cool cat, Pete Mendia here to help us break down some surfboards that he uses uh, in a variety of different waves. The differences between these boards, there's a lot of differences and we want to break down those uh, for you so that you'll be able to, you know, the time comes you guys need to go into a surf shop and, and buy a board, so you'll have some, some basic knowledge. Back in the day, everybody rode single fin, one fin, then the big, uh, you know, craze came in around the 70s or whatever, busting down the door, and people were riding twin fins, and, and the twin fins were basically spinner boards, right? You, they were yeah. like skateboards. Really loose. Then Simon Anderson brought in a thruster, which was three fins, and then all of a sudden the big rage became quads. I'd love to have you kind of break down what you feel the difference between a, a, a tri fin and a quad, and when, you know, what conditions would you use? The, the, the both the boards. Exactly. So most of my boards you can do, he'll put a five fin setup. So you can either go three fins or four fins. I'm say a three fin guy. I, I generally know him better, but I, I love four fins. In small waves, the four fins give you this, this quickness. And in big waves, I love four fins. Just now I was in Mexico three days ago and uh, I was riding a four fin and the speed that they give off when you're in a tube is, I think it's, you're just generally going way faster than on a four fin than a thruster. And uh, it just gives you extra lift and I don't know, the drive it gives you, I believe, is faster. Maybe bringing in that bite again because there's actually two fins. When you're on a rail, right, you're holding that rail, you've got two fins in the water the versus one. you've got when you're holding, when, when you've got a three fin set up and you're, you're on your toes and you're pulling in, you've only got one fin in the water most times, right? You're, yep. I mean, you're, you're on that edge. You're putting pressure on that edge, right? Yeah. T like for tube riding, I think the four fin is a go. I, I, I can't say it enough, but for maneuvers wise, turning, I would way rather have a thruster. I don't know, like, say you're going through a, you're going through a turn and you're here and you're, you're cutting, you're doing a cutback on the wave. You get to here, here, here. A four fin likes to give away mm -hmm. where a thruster can hold, 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 and you can, can complete the turn. Again, it's, it's your own prefer preference, preference, but and you can just see the way people ride four fins to thrusters. Gotcha, cool. Let me ask you this, does the actual, I know there's a lot of people nowadays, <clears throat> you know, that are, are talking about fins, and, and there's all kinds of different types of fins. I mean, a lot of times when, you know, people buy boards, they get, you know, plastic fins, and now, <laughs> now you can buy a set of fins for $100, $150, which is outrageous, but fiberglass fins. Can you tell us a little bit about the difference, and, and what, what should intermediate surfers look for as far as their first set of fins, should they even bother buying fiberglass fins? Is there going to be that much difference?